hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Angela here thank you so much for coming around and if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you'll be the first to know anytime i post a new video and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for the love and support i really appreciate you all so for today's tutorial i'll quickly show us on how to make an off the shoulder baby girl dress with a cape so if you're interested keep on watching I'll be using for this project I'll be using this for the cape part of this dress and here I have my net this is one yard but it's too much okay so I'll just cut the one I'll be needing this is four yards of net and I have my one yard of satin and one yard of lining and for this dress I'll be using a two year old baby girl measurement to make this dress so as usual I'm going to start by drafting out the pattern so here I have my paper on fold and I'll start by marking out the bodice length. The bodice length for this dress is um, 8.25 plus 1 inch for my sewing allowance. That is 9.25 or 9 and quarter which is here. Okay, I'm going to draft a basic bodice from there. We will determine the off shoulder and the cape. Okay, so I'll just mark this out. And connect to a straight line i am using this method so that if you're new to my channel you can easily follow up okay so this is the body length and the next thing to mark out is the armhole measurement which is 4.25 as well and that is half of the shoulder measurement so this is 4.25 i'm going to mark that out and connect to a straight line Okay, so now it's time to mark out the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement is 8.5. Half of that is 4 and quarter, which is this point here. And I'll repeat the same on this armhole line and then connect the point. This is half inch for the shoulder slope. And for the neck um, width, I'll be making it 2 inches and also 2 inches for the neck depth at the end of the day anyways this part will not be needed okay i am just using it for illustration so now it's time to connect the points and then this i'll connect to the neck um, width then this is the neck depth okay so now the next thing to do is to determine the midpoint here this is three and three point seven five to get the midpoint i'll just fold my tape into two like this okay to save myself the stress of you know too much calculation and then on that point i will go in by half an inch which is here so now the next thing to do is to mark out the chest measurement the chest measurement is 22 inches okay so i'm going to divide that by four and that is 5.5 which is this point here and then I'm going to add my half inch for my sewing allowance now the waist measurement is 21 21 divided by 4 is 5 and quarter which is here plus my half inch sewing allowance then I'll connect the points and you have your basic bodies okay So here you have your basic bodies. This is for a two year old. So it's time to create the off the shoulder from these basic bodies. And before I continue, our online classes are on. If you're interested in any of our online classes, just check the description box for a number to reach out for more details on that. Okay, so now to get the off the shoulder, you can decide to use your midpoint line to create your off the shoulder it all depends on how high or low you want your the off the shoulder to be for me for this particular dress i want it very high so because of that i'll be using this neck depth measurement so this is two inches i am going to mark that out okay this is the point right there i will just connect now to a straight line okay so this is where i want to put my off the shoulder 
from okay like i said earlier you can decide to come down by even three inches depending on what you're trying to achieve so now on this line this is what i have i will now check what i have left because i'll be adding a strap to this dress so here i have two inches and on this point now i am going to mark out how many inch or inches i want to use for my strap so for mine i'll be making it one and quarter by the time i finish sewing i'll end up having one inch so you can decide to make yours smaller or even bigger so i'll just mark that point now and take it down to a straight line okay this is going to be my strap now now you can see that i just connected the streets to this point but by the time we are going to sew i will make this straight okay so i'll be cutting it from this shoulder point this is what i'll be cutting off okay not this um slope here i will not be adding this slope okay so this is no longer needed so this is what i'll be cutting off as the stri uh, strap so now the next thing to do is to cut this out and then from here we will now determine um, the cape and we will also cut out using this pattern we will also cut out the back part of this dress that out this is the front and i used the same pattern to cut out the back pattern all i did was to add my one inch for my zipper allowance and here i'm going to cut off half an inch i'll just connect it back to this point okay if you're a returning subscriber you should know why i am doing this okay so this is it I'll just connect it to this part so that at the end of the day when you're done sewing one the front or the back one side will not be longer than the other side everything should match together so I'll just cut that off now and then we are going to use the front pattern to cut out the cape okay so I'll just cut this off now and this is the back Pattern. so now to cut out the cape i am going to check what i have on my front pattern all you have to do is to check what you have from this point to this point for this it is eight inches and then since it's eight inches remember that this will go for both the front and the back so excuse me so you need to multiply the eight inches by two that will make it 16 inches then you check what you use as your neck depth for here i use two inches okay so that is what we're going to know the bicep measurement that you know the cape is going to pass through to the back so since it's two inches that is to say i am um, for one part of the sleeve we are, we are going to make it four inches like i said it's going to be for the front and also for the back side of the sleeve area so this is four and this other side is four making it eight inches plus the 16 inches that we have here remember we we'll multiply by 2 okay so that will be 16 plus 8 and that will give me 24 inches so 24 inches is what i'm going to mark out to use as the cape okay so before all that i'm going to place this on my fabric now and do all the necessary cutting for the upper part of this dress
out this is what i have this is what i'll be using for the cape i have 24 inches here and this is by 3.5 this is three and a half meaning if you open it up it is seven inches okay and this is my strap if you can remember this strap you need to cut it off so this is it here it's four because it's, it will pass through the back and it's going to be this way and i used one and a half here or here i used one and quarter why i use one and a half is because i'll be sewing this now just close it this way and sew and then turn it inside out because i want this to be as tiny as possible and here i have the back and the front cut out so i'll start by um, joining the sides together so i'm going to close this now like i said i'll just sew straight and then turn it inside out and i'll repeat the same on this one as well and then I'll sew the sides using my half inch for my sewing allowance for the side and sew the sides together and I'll repeat the same on my lining and then we are going to continue so I'll just close it up and we'll continue so here I just closed the sides and I did the same on my lining and here is my strap I'll just turn it inside out and then I'll give it a good press and also um, iron out these sides that we just did so now the next thing to do is to sew the armhole together you just need to take your lining and place it over your main fabric making sure that the front of your fabric is facing each other so i'll just place it this way now and close up this armhole as you're closing make sure that this point matches with this other point so i'll just close this up now and then we finish up this front part it up this is what i have i just turn it over and give it um, a little press okay so now it's time to fix the cape like i said earlier this is what we'll be using for the cape so i'm going to divide this cut it into two now okay so and i will now give it a slight curl on this part okay okay like i was saying i'm going to give this a slight curve okay this is one inch from that edge here you can decide to give it any shape that you prefer okay so this is the curve now mine is very little and here i have 3.5 by the time i'm done sewing i'll I'll make it either 2.75 or 3 inches after sewing okay so now this is this one is going to be for one part and this the other one is going to be for the other part this is how it's going to be here but right now here I am going to come down by one inch okay so it's going to be um, a kind of V a little V there so that it will give the shape that I really want to achieve so I'll just come down by one inch and just cut it okay so this is one inch I'll just cut it straight to this point okay now this is how the front neckline is now this is the V this is the shape I'm looking for and I'll also cut as like this now for the back and then I will now place my curve, my sorry, my cape, and then we sew. Okay, it's as easy as that. Let me just cut this off and then we continue. So now you can see that I have my little V, and I did the same on the back one. So now I'm going to take this now and close it up. I will just sew to close this end, and I'll close this side, and also this side as well. But on this area that is close to this neckline i'm going to leave um, like one inch that i'll be using to turn it inside out so i'll repeat the same on this second one and then i'll give it a good press before joining it on this part uh, sewing it and turning it um, inside out okay so now i'm going to give this a press but that will be later so the next thing to do is to um add your strap this is the two that i have here 
now to add that i'm going to check mark out two inches remember that is what you're working with that is the neck depth that is where your strap will come in this is two inches that is the point there so i'm going to take my strap now and pin it at the back because we're going to sew at the back by the time you turn it it will not sit well on this neck line so that is the point there i'm going to mark that point this is where the first strap will come in and i'll do the same on this other side this is two inches here this is for the second strap so i'll just take them now this is the back this is the back i'll just take it and pin it at the back like this and i'll repeat the same on this second one So here I just pin my strap. Now you can see that this part that has um, the seam is in between and is facing the back side. Why this part that is clean is facing is going to face this front side. So now I'm going to place it now and take one of my cape, even though I've not given it a good press. Okay, but it's not a problem. You can always um, iron it when you finish. But the best way to do is to iron it before joining so i'm going to take this one this is coming first and then i will take this part now okay and then move it backward this way from this center point now i am going to use a quarter inch and sew it and end it on this armhole line so i'll just um, repeat the same with this second one on this other part so here it is i just join it like i said together with this other one and by the time you turn it over you can see that your strap is separate and is already looking so beautiful and so nice so i'm going to repeat the same for this back side now i will mark out my one inch for the zipper allowance and then mark out the two which we use to pin the strap for the back side Okay, so here is my one inch for my zipper so from that point now i'll mark out two this is where the strap will come in that is for the back so i'm going to take it now and then i'll pin i'm just repeating what i did for the front side i'm going to pin it and also pin the second one and you follow the same process and also sew in this other side of the cape so after sewing the back one this is what i have i just followed the same way i did the front now when you look at it you will see that you just need to sew and stop there and also do the same here and you have your space here okay when you're sewing this you will see that everything will just play itself out so now the front pattern as you can see is ready all that is left now is to use your invisible hand stitching to secure this point very well so that your cape will not be flying you know up and down so now i'm going to this is time to give it a good press and then we'll be cutting the lower part of this dress so that we can join and for you to see the final look of this beautiful dress so here i have my net i am working with four yards i'm going to fold it now for easy cutting so that we can cut the lower part of this dress so here i have my net well arranged and i just cut off this rough edge so the length of this um, lower part is 15 inches so i'm going to cut as many as this net can give me so i'm going to start marking out this 15 inches includes my sewing allowance so this is 15 i'm going to mark that and then cut all out then i will now join all together and use my gather stitch to run it pieces of it and 
So just open it up now and join all of them together like I said earlier and I'll use my gather stitch to run it all through and then here I have my one yard of satin okay so I'm going to use this part that is by 60 inches you know satin is always by 60 inches that is by height so I'll just fold that part into two now and cut out 15 inches as well I am just folding this way for easy cutting so now I'll just cut out 15 inches and then we continue so guys this is what I have after joining it together all I did was just to use my gather stitch and run the net and then pull it till I have my waist measurement and I did the same on my satin then I will now I now brought the two of them together and stitch it very well before joining it on the waist line so for your lining the same way you cut your satin is how you're going to cut your lining you can also decide to add a hard net to your lining so that your dress will stand out very well okay so i believe you can do this and i believe you learned one or two things from today's tutorial so that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and i'll see you all soon